So yesterday we called each other's uh, spouse in secret and asked the question, which one of this person's habits in the bedroom bothers you most? And this is uh, just more of us <laughs> trying to get to know each other a little better. I don't think you need to know me this well. <laughs> well, and I I'm, having, I'm having some regrets about this idea. Of course, now, because, like, I don't know what's been put out there or is about to be put out there about me either. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you've offered yourself up to go first. I figured, yeah, just throw me to the wolves right now, <laughs> you know? That's, uh... <laughs> I might as well get it done with. Take my lickings. So, Jesse was not in the studio when I posed this question to his wife, okay? And I was thinking um, she had a great idea. Let's do it match game style. So, basically, um, how well do you know your significant other and, and right. the things they know about you? Now, you've had almost a day to, to stew, stew this yeah. over and think about all of your performance issues <laughs> and... <laughs> I can only imagine. That's what that, that that's a scary thing because I know my wife's sense of humor too, and that's what scares me the most. You know, I'm, I'm pretty thick skin, uh, but you know, it's still it's like frightening. It is. It is it, like not knowing what somebody's about to say, and and you don't know. I've I've known this for like a day now. Like, what oh could God. I possibly be thinking about you, right? And you know, the, the funny thing is, is that I haven't even thought about what I know about you. I've only thought about what you know about me. Right. And, you know? and vice versa. I feel the same way. I, like, had trouble sleeping last night. And, and like, we talked about earlier this morning, like, it was funny. It was almost like we were having kinetic energy over our nervousness because oh. you had texted me about the same time that I started stewing it really hardcore and going, what did you say about me into my spouse? I honestly want to throw up. <laughs> okay, so you've had almost a day to think about this. What do you think Jeannie said uh, about your habits? Which one of your habits in the bedroom bothers her the most? What do you think her answer was? I honestly truly believe this could be it. I don't know, but here's the thing. I think I've told you about this before. Like, I, I hate... I don't like people touching my feet. That being said, I don't like to touch my feet. I don't like anybody touching my feet. So I let my nails grow out. They get pretty pretty long, and my, I get you know some calluses on my heel to the point that we've actually wrecked some uh, sheets before they've rubbed. And like I know it pisses her off, so I'll, I'll like rub her feet, and she gets extremely upset with me when I do that. Aww. Uh, and, cute. and I know I, I can't judge by your reaction because you're, you know, even if even if that was it, you're doing a hell of a job, like not reacting to that. I answer. don't want to so, ruin it I know, for I you. Know, I get it totally. Well, okay, so you're going with the touching of the feet and the gross nails. Now, and I, I told you this morning. I said, you know, I thought about just throwing out like the worst thing that she could say, just to get it out there. That way, it wasn't a surprise. But then on the flip side, if she would have said something that was not as embarrassing, well, then people would know two things about me: one being the worst thing in the world. So I wasn't going to go with that. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. And that was the same thing I was thinking oh. yesterday is, am I going to be the one to di divulge the embarrassing right. information or will it be my spouse? Oh, my God. Because I think they're going to divulge that information. Well, are you ready? Yeah, Should we play back the is, call? This is the, here we go. This See is the phone call from yesterday. Uh, terrible. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Jeannie. It's Lucy. Hi. Hey, so you ready to do this? <laughs> yeah. I'm nervous about what the question's going to be. <laughs> Nothing embarrassing. Okay, it's like completely embarrassing. It just depends on what your answer, I think. <laughs> it should be completely embarrassing because he always embarrasses me. What? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> what I need to know is which one of Jesse's habits in the bedroom bothers you the most? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Like during sex or just any time in the bedroom? Like oh, now I know where this is going. I want to leave it open to interpretation. Oh, man. See, I think, you know, the one thing that bothers me is he always says he's too tired to have sex. Really? <laughs> yes, he always says he's too tired. Uh, too tired. And, like, I'm the one who's supposed to be too tired, Jesse. You're the one who is, you know, uh, at home. Pregnant. Right, and he's over here playing at the radio station all day. I mean, what the heck? <laughs> He's always too tired. <laughs> Sounds like somebody needs a little libido check. <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to kill me. Oh, my God. <laughs> so how do you feel now post 
giving out your information, which technically we've talked about your gross feet before, so it's yeah. not not like you. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> that's you sound like my wife. You well, I mean, this is something you put out there. You no, you aired on the safe side, Absolutely. and I think it paid off for you because truly the <sighs> information she gave yeah. out. Are you feeling better now? I feel a hundred times better. Like she did a great job. She's gonna get flowers today. Oh. She could have. Yeah, I'm glad. I thought she was going to go somewhere where I didn't want her to go just because that would be her style. You know, that would be her, in her nature to do that. And I was I was literally, I had to go think about this. I was a minute away from divulging something that would have been terrible. It would have been awful. It would have been the worst thing in the world. And I would have been, that would have been hilarious, though, because that was nowhere near where I thought she was going to go. Well, I'm really nervous about what Brent said. Oh, I really bet. am. I because <laughs> he is just the kind of person who he will. He, I think he will go out of his way to mortify, like and embarrass me. And and yeah, you know what? I, I don't. <sighs> I don't think so. I think he was. Well, you know, I can't divulge too much. Yeah, I was like, don't don't say too much. We don't want to ruin it for the audience because I still have to put my guess in. That's right. And I'm trying to still decide. I've got two possible answers. Oh, and you got what? Do we got? well, almost got a half an hour. Well, no, like 25 minutes. Yeah. 25 minutes to do it. See, I'm glad I got this done. There you I, go. I, honestly, I truly feel a little bit bad for you that you have to wait. <laughs> but I'm, I'm super glad that mine is done. <laughs> and my wife's getting flowers today. Thank you for not divulging what I thought you were going to divulge. <laughs> See, she loves you I'm, maybe so I'm a much. Freak. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know what? There's Some of that bedroom stuff needs to stay in the bedroom. That's true. <laughs> so I guess coming up, what did uh, my boyfriend say about my bedroom habits. I can't wait. Man. To, yeah, this is going to be great. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to check out more of the Loon Morning Show, go to 1037theloon.com.